How do you manage your time to ensure a healthy work-life balance? I prioritize tasks based on deadlines and importance. I use tools like calendars and task management apps to organize my work. I also set clear boundaries between work hours and personal time, ensuring that I can fully focus on my personal life after work hours. Can you describe a time when you struggled with work-life balance and how you handled it? During a particularly busy project, I found myself working longer hours and feeling stressed. I realized that I needed to communicate with my manager about the workload. We reassessed priorities, delegated some tasks, and adjusted timelines, which allowed me to regain balance and complete the project effectively without burnout. How do you avoid burnout, especially when working on tight deadlines? I make sure to take short breaks during the day to recharge, even when deadlines are tight. I also break down larger tasks into smaller steps so I don't feel overwhelmed. Additionally, I practice mindfulness techniques like deep breathing to manage stress in high-pressure situations. What does a healthy work-life balance look like to you? For me, a healthy work-life balance means having time to pursue personal interests, spend time with family, and recharge mentally and physically while still being able to meet my professional responsibilities. It's about being productive at work without feeling overwhelmed and ensuring I have time to relax and enjoy life outside of work. How do you stay productive during working hours to avoid taking work home? I focus on time management techniques like the Pomodoro technique or time blocking. By breaking my work into focused intervals and reducing distractions, I can stay on task and be productive throughout the day. This helps me to complete my work within office hours and maintain a clear separation between work and home life. How do you maintain a work-life balance when working remotely? When working remotely, I set a dedicated workspace to avoid distractions, and I stick to a routine that mimics an office environment. I also establish clear start and end times for work and take scheduled breaks. This helps me stay focused during work hours and ensures that I can enjoy personal time afterward. How would you handle a situation where a project demands more of your personal time? If a project requires more of my time, I first assess whether the demand is temporary or ongoing. For short-term needs, I can adjust my schedule accordingly. However, if the demands persist, I communicate with my manager to explore options like redistributing tasks or adjusting deadlines to ensure work-life balance in the long run. What strategies do you use to disconnect from work during your free time? I turn off work notifications after work hours and make an effort to engage in activities that help me unwind, such as exercising, spending time with loved ones, or pursuing hobbies. Having these clear boundaries allows me to disconnect and recharge, which ultimately makes me more effective when I return to work. How do you prioritize competing demands from work and personal life? I evaluate the urgency and importance of each demand. If work tasks are urgent and impact the team or business, I focus on those first. However, I also ensure that personal commitments are given due attention by planning ahead and communicating any potential conflicts early on. What role does your employer play in helping you maintain a work-life balance? A supportive employer provides flexibility and understanding when it comes to work-life balance. This can include offering flexible work hours, remote work options, or mental health resources. Open communication between employees and managers is also key in identifying when balance might be off and making adjustments to workloads or expectations.